This one might be a little bit better. There we go. Ooh, nice male. Get some dark color on them, ready for spawning. Breeding plumage, males get really dark, they attract the females. Alright, came all the way back into this cove looking for panfish. We got the right species, but about half the size I wanted. So this lake has an okay crappie population. It's kind of like once people know that there's a good panfish population, they come and fish it out. Which is what I'm here to do today, I guess. These crappies like to hit things that are falling in the water column, which is that's really good to jig for them. Like you lift your rod tip up, let the bait fall down a little bit, reel up slack, jigging through the middle of the water column. Cast in a row. So they're all from the same year class. I know another two years will be nice eating size. Three in a row. We're on the northern edge of crappie territory. Just once you get up north of Highway 210, Minnesota, so it's kind of a crapshoot whether or not they get a good spawn. I think this year should be a good spawn. We got lots of rain after the snow went out, kind of cleared up our drought conditions, so the water is going to be up up and provide some good spawning areas. I'm surprised I didn't tear the lips out of that one. This one looks like another younger year class. That's the amount of activity I'm causing back in here. Surprised Northern hasn't shown up trying to eat one of these off my line. It's a flappy little crappy. Smaller than the last. Well, there's a school of crappie back in here, but it's like they're all little dinks. They like white, biting on white usually. So that's a good color to start out with. Uh, still just a bit small. About seven inch here. His eight, I'd probably keep them. Oh, another one. Just a little guy. If I'm hooking to a nice one again, I'll have to move out. Let's see, we got 
fighting like a sunfish. Oh, a perch. It's a little short. Back up in about 10 inches.